Hi, everybody. Welcome to daytime. Happy December, December the 1st, which also happens to be a very special day known as Giving Tuesday. And in Waterloo Region, we're asking you, how will you be giving today? And for those of us here, I, I don't know whether we're, we're giving to somebody or kind of giving to ourselves because today is our first annual daytime pajama party. Or it's like Saturday at the Shear House. We're in our jammies today and, and enjoying. And having a pajama party in support of a great organization in Waterloo Region known as Sleep Tight. And it just so happens that the founder of Sleep Tight is not only joining me right now, she is also going to be my co-host for the entire <laughs> show. This is Megan Coney Bear in her pajama, in finest, pajamas. just like everybody is here. I wish we could see all our volunteers and that everybody's in their jammies <laughs> and happy to be here and talking a little bit about mm. the organization that you put together that's called Sleep Tight Waterloo Region. Yes. And let's start out there. Tell us a little bit about Sleep sure. Tight. Sure. Um, so last year, it uh, I was inspired when I um, was watching a documentary and I was learning of women locally who were being trafficked, sex trafficked and human trafficked. And I was learning how they were being being rescued and taken into shelters and safe houses and these are women who had nothing and were having to start fresh and it reminded me of my own experience because um, I grew up in a really unsafe uh, abusive home and I had to leave when I was 15 with just the clothes that I was wearing and when I entered um, the foster home I had nothing but I was provided with a few necessities to get going and one of them was a pair of pajamas and I remember just feeling the pajamas and how warm they were and when I put them on I felt safe and comfortable and I felt some hope and so when I heard of these women's experiences I really just wanted to provide them with that same comfort and hope and thought maybe a pair of pajamas on their first night starting fresh would kind of help with that. Yeah, you think about it for most of us this time of year, especially with the weather changing, yeah. you put on that soft pair of jammies. It's almost like a hug. It you, know, is. You, you feel so much better instantly. I can't imagine for somebody who, who's in a circumstance like that, you know, you're leaving these tragic circumstances with literally the clothes on your back. What it means to them, not only to have that fresh start, that new mm -hmm. pair of pajamas, but to know that there's a community that's thinking of you and, and wanting to do something for you and, and helping to provide that start Exactly, for yeah. And I mean, the community responded huge last year. We received over 500 pairs of pajamas and the response within the first 24 hours when I put it to social media was amazing. And I quickly realized that I couldn't just have all these pajamas come to my house or, <laughs> you know, go around and collect them all. So I actually reached out to uh, Chief of Police Brian Larkin and I said, you know, does it make sense to maybe have the police divisions be drop-off locations? And he said, you know, let's partner with you on this project. We love what you're doing, so let's do it together. And they're a partner again this year, and um, it's, it's wonderful. Great support from them. Yeah, and it's actually grown in year two, and now you're looking for pajamas for women, but for children, and for men. Anybody that, that's in a... I guess a, a critical area, a critical need situation that the police are helping out, that women's crisis services are helping out. Anybody that, that needs that comfort and warmth, you're helping to provide it for them. Yeah, we just saw the need last year when we were distributing that we were able to make an even bigger impact. So this year we chose three organizations to support, YWCA of Kitchener-Waterloo, Victim Services of Waterloo Region, and Sexual Assault Support Center. So we're going to be distri distributing the pajamas through them. And this is something that doesn't just happen at this time of year. You're able to collect enough pajamas that even throughout the year, they're, they're distributed to, yeah. to, to people in need. Yeah. That's incredible. <laughs> well, people, I've seen it all over Twitter. I've been following you on social media. You're having all of these great events. One of them happens tomorrow. Tomorrow. Uh, this is kind of like the kickoff pajama party for the big pajama party that's exactly. happening at the Hacienda Seria yes. tomorrow. So tomorrow night, uh, we have our own pajama party going on. And it, yes, it's at Hacienda. So it's from 7 till 10. And the, the premise is you wear a pair of pajamas and you bring a pair of pajamas. And that pair of pajamas is your ticket in the door. And we have a DJ, so we're going to have a pajama dance party. Like, who has not wanted a pajama <laughs> dance party? Um, so we're going to have DJ, music, hot chocolate. We even have a room set up. It's going to be like a slumber party, 80s movies, magazines. It's going to be fun. And what's really amazed me is through social media, every day it seems somebody's tweeting out, oh, do you know where pajamas are on sale today? You can find a great deal here and a great, great deal there, and people are bringing them in. Do you have any idea how many pairs of pajamas you're hoping to collect in all of this? Maybe? I mean, we collected 500 last year. I'd love to double that. I'd love to get to 1,000. It would just make such a huge impact in our community. 
So for people, if they, if they want to collect pajamas, they find that a great deal, they want to you know, donate a pair of pajamas, how do they go about doing it? So you can drop them off tomorrow night at the pajama party or you have until January 2nd and you can drop them off at any Waterloo Regional Police Service Division. And until January 2nd, until January until the, 2nd. the new year we're doing yep. this. Well, and, and on today's show, because it, it's Giving Tuesday, this is a day where we think about doing things for other people. It just made so much sense for us to be able to give back to you well, and to you. you know collect some pajamas that we've been decorating our studio with and, and wear our own pajamas today. How much fun <laughs> is that to wear pajamas to work for a day? It's so great. I said I'm so relaxed. <laughs> I don't know. I think this should become the dress code for the show. <laughs> it's a little relaxed. The only problem was trying to find a pair of pajamas that I could actually wear on air because the best pajamas are those really comfortable ratty ones yes. that, you, yeah. that you don't want anybody necessarily seeing. Well, and we have our slippers on too. I don't know if you can see this. Yes, <laughs> I do have my, well, here, there we go. We've got <laughs> slippers on and we're ready to go. So throughout the day, we've kind of themed this as our pajama party day. You're going to co-host with me. So we're, we have got a number of guests who are joining us all in their jammies today and talking about things all kind of pajama party related so Which is wonderful we'll be talking about tea are you a tea person i am a tea person i love love tea. tea and it's comfortable and it makes you relaxed and you know what this time of year we could all use a little bit of self-care yes tea does that so well so we have nobelia de silva joining us from the red teapot studio in nice. cambridge talking about tea We've got some fashions, a very <laughs> fashionable PJ fashion show for people today. We've got some music. Tim Lewis is here. I love him. You're talking about your DJ that's going to be at the pajama yep. party tomorrow night. Well, well, Tim is going to be here and performing for us a very special song from his, his Snowflakes and Bloom Christmas CD that Wonderful. he's got that he, he wrote for his it. daughter. And it has to do with, you know, going off to dreamland and such. And we've also got Jen from Sweet Treats by Jen joining us today, Jen Scott, helping us with some pajama party snacks. You need those. A little something to nosh on yep. through the show, which we, we need to do too, okay? Yes, I'm So excited. you're all ready? Yes. Pajamas in tow, teddy bears <laughs> optional. And we'll continue when daytime returns with our, our PJ party, our pajama party in support of Sleep Tight Waddle Thank Region you so on much. Giving Tuesday when we come back, so stay with us. It's Giving Tuesday, and it's our daytime pajama party in support of Sleep Tight Waterloo Region. Megan Coney Bear, my co-host for the day, so exciting. is here from Sleep Tight Waterloo <laughs> Region. And what better when you're thinking of that nice nighttime sleep yeah. than a cup of tea? So, <laughs> Nabelia Da Silva joins us from the Red Teapot Studio in Cambridge, talking all things tea. It's almost relaxing just to say the word, Nabelia. Yeah, for us, it's really a, a moment of self-care. I mean, we looked at we look at it as holistic kindness for the mind, body, and soul. Nothing, you know, nothing can compare like a cup of tea. I like that that yeah. idea of taking care of yourself, and especially this time yes. of year when things are so busy and so crazy. Yeah, and tea is also something that you can, you know, self-care, or it's wonderful to share with others. It's just that thing of relaxing. And now we're headed into a really hectic time, and nothing like taking that moment just to to relax. I love tea. I don't drink enough of it. I love I, I, all kinds of different tea. Do you have kind of a favorite blend? I'm maybe? a big peppermint fan. I love peppermint tea. It just warms you up inside. It, it is, and it's great for as a digestive. Mm -hmm. It's great for headaches. It's great for congestion. So a lot of the herbal teas have many properties. One being chamomile. Everybody knows that chamomile is a great relaxing type of tea for sleep. But the other benefit, it's great for sore joints. So if you have any type of inflammation, chamomile is fantastic really? for that. I want to. I'm just going to hold this up for a second because That's true. I didn't. Yeah. This is real chamomile. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's what it looks yes. like. It, it's, is it a flower? It is a flower. Okay. And uh, I mean, you're probably used to seeing chamomile in, in the, the tea bags. And really, it's not anything like that. As you can see, that's a whole flower. And we use that in many of our blends, including um, mm -hmm. one of our teas for anxiety. 
because it also helps with you know, calming down the nerves. Well, I was going to say a chamomile tea. That's often yeah. what you have before bedtime. It's that relax or that, that thing that calms you down. Mm -hmm. But there's so many other herbs other than chamomile. There's passion flower. So for somebody that is trying to sleep through the night um, and not wake up, through the night, because sometimes we, are, we can sleep, but we'll wake up through the night. So passion flower is excellent for that. Really? Uh, the lavender, everybody knows about lavender, but you can also drink it in a tea, and that's a beautiful. This is the lavender that's here? That's a beautiful okay. lavender. Oh, and Megan. I mean, so you can you can buy that. Just keep this here. Yeah. <laughs> you hold that, too. Relax. But even just the aromatherapy, you can, I mean, it's too bad, yeah. you know, people at home can't smell <laughs> it. But just the fragrance of it. But easily you can put that into a tea. Um, Roybus is another one that we have I at the studio. Roybus. And the beauty of it is you can buy a little bit of lavender, a little bit of chamomile, and make your it own blends. It. We're all about that at the studio. We're always teaching people how to blend your own wellness teas and, and varieties. And we have a lot of fun at the studio teaching those classes. Well, along with having all of those samples that people can come in and they can, they can try a cup of tea mm -hmm. in the studio and just, you know, find a new blend that's their new favorite. Yeah, we always have, you know, come and visit us. We, we're, that's the first thing is we welcome you with a big smile and we say, would you like a cup of tea? Because <laughs> it's nothing like that, offering that to someone is, is a cup of tea and you never know what we're going to be steeping, but yeah. Well, it's funny when you say that and you talk about tea being self-care for you. And, Absolutely. And it's Giving Tuesday. Yeah. And, and giving doesn't have to be about that monetary donation. Mm -hmm. It could be giving time. So what nicer thing would be than to yeah. invite a friend or a neighbor over, have that relaxing cup of tea and that, that self-care and that yeah. great conversation and yeah. just invest some time. Yeah, and we, and we have a lot of uh, variety. We carry over 200 types of teas at the studio in addition to about 100 other types of herbs. And we have packaging such as that. We have little teasers we call. Um, we have a program right now happening uh, December the 5th, this Saturday, which we're celebrating five years on the street. Congratulations Thanks. to you, yeah, by King the way. Street in Preston, so we're really proud of that. And, uh, you know, it's all about giving back to the community. So for us, we actually have a program. Um, it's a, a program of raising food through Sea Ridge Clash, where the three cores in, in Cambridge are competing, Preston, uh, uh, Galt and Hasler to raise 25,000 pounds of food and on Saturday if you bring five items of food into the studio you can buy five teasers for five dollars. Oh that's a great that's really idea wonderful. and all of that money and all that food rather going back to the the Cambridge Self Help yeah. Food Bank which I was hearing at this time of year it, it's so critical that they keep those Absolutely. shelves stocked up. So we believe in like our community has supported us so wonderfully um, in in Cambridge that we would like to give back and Saturday is a day of celebration but also giving back to raise uh, food collect food for the food bank and in addition to that for every um, uh, what do you call it, five items of food that you actually donate we will put your um, name into a, um, a draw to win a $50 basket. Wow. So That's Saturday great. is definitely the day to come and, and visit us. Well, and I know another way that you give back to the community is that you will pick, you have people coming in and offer them a fundraiser, a tea fundraiser, mm -hmm. where proceeds can go back to the, their charity right. to help them out, and, and you provide the tea for them. Yeah, so we have a program called Charity. A play on words and um, they can work with us and we actually will donate 40% of the proceeds out of the tea sales tea sales back to the organization so that's a great program and uh, yeah we've had huge success so um, in providing uh, funds back to well-needed organizations that's wonderful that's great. So people can just come in and they can ask you about the charity. The charity you... program, yeah. And uh, yeah, so we're, we're, we're very creative that way. And like I said, we're big supporters of our community. The community supports us and we want to give back. Should I ask you what your favorite tea is? I don't think <laughs> I've like ever asked you that out of the hundreds and hundreds of blends Depends that you what do. what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, but you know, nothing like an Earl Grey classic. Uh, it's, it's, to me, it's comfort. It's what I grew up with. And so when I have an Earl Grey, it, it reminds me of my mom. It reminds me of, you know, that's just nice. that comfort. It's, oh, that's nice. <laughs> and, 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 and in the tea world, that's kind of like choosing vanilla, yeah. I think, as your favorite flavor. Yes. Yeah. But it's wonderful. And all yeah. the different teas that are yeah. so soothing. You know, for your pajama party or whatever yes. you're doing. They're available at Red Teapot Studio. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for joining us. It's so much fun. <laughs> we do gems every day. We're back you with more to. daytime in a moment. <laughs> Stay with us.
Welcome back to daytime with my co-host for the day, <laughs> Megan Coney Bear, who is here from Sleep Tight Waterloo Region. It's our daytime pajama party today, and we've invited a bunch of guests to join us at our pajama party, one of them being Karen Murray Huff, who is here from Idea Exchange in Cambridge. I love your jammies. Oh, well, they're onesies, no flap, but they're very <laughs> comfortable, very comfortable, and I'm just feeling quite relaxed here today. Yeah, it's amazing how excited people are yes. when you tell them, oh, by the way, wear your pajamas yeah, to the show. Yeah, it's awesome. When you come out. Come yeah. On. I don't know whether you, whether you wear them at Idea Exchange or not. Not but frequently, uh, but yeah. it may be a change. It may be a new dress code coming up. <laughs> well, you might be wearing them to some of the events that are coming up in December. It's a busy, busy time of year for you, and uh, starting up with some great music and a special musician who is joining Absolutely. you. Absolutely. Well, in the spirit of uh, Giving Tuesday, we have uh, a music event tonight, which is free to the public. Um, our good friend Kevin Ramasar is uh, going to be at our Preston location uh, with excerpts from his Snow on Snow uh, concert as well as CD that he released last week. So that's starting at 7 o'clock. It runs for an hour. Uh, it'll just be a lovely time, and you can also bring uh, good wishes because it's his birthday. So uh, today is his birthday. Today is his birthday. Wow. Yeah, happy birthday! Yes, happy birthday, Kevin. <laughs> so that's happening tonight. Um, but you'll see uh, on the table before you some gifts we have for purchase. We have something called the Original Works Market that runs out of our studio at our Queen Square location. Um, this is over 30 artists and artisans in the region uh, who display and sell their works uh, during the gift giving season and they're I mean they're it, it's like a mini one-of-a-kind sale so there's so, just some beautiful stuff and something for everyone uh, a lot of fiber artists are in the Cambridge area so we do have some fiber works here um, as well as as lovely one-of-a-kind stuffed animals this woman creates the most gorgeous little oh just, and she's so soft and so oh, it God. almost reminds me of a velveteen rabbit. yes Yes, exactly. That's what I was thinking. Beautiful. Oh, um, beautiful. Hand dyed silk scarves, beautiful one of a kind jewelry pieces, I was pottery, at a, a little before. bit of everything, a lot of uh, handmade wood items, Those mobiles, glass. There's a lot of gorgeous, gorgeous stuff, and all price points. Um, so there's something for everyone, really. This is the type of thing that I love, especially this time mm -hmm. of year when you're looking for that special item for someone that you know. I mean, you could go into a mall, but you stop at something like Original Works Absolutely. and you get a unique piece yeah. for somebody that you know was handcrafted. From this area. I, yeah. I think that's that's so special that's uh, for people. Um, as well, we have uh, the brand new uh, CD from Cambridge Live Music is on sale uh, for $15 and no tax. So that's a great uh, a little thing to pick up as well. Perfect. So this is happening. Um, open hours pretty much uh, until December 23rd. So drop in um, during the week. It's uh, uh, 10 o'clock until 8. Fridays uh, till 5 and Saturday 10 till 5 as well. Sundays 1 till 5. I know something that you've been running at Idea Exchange throughout the fall and, and it continues in December is your, your Taste Buds Cookbook Club. There are book clubs out there. You do a cookbook club. We have seven book clubs book clubs now, <laughs> which is mouthful, but it gets bigger because it's, yes, Taste Buds Cookbook <laughs> Club. Uh, that's happening on uh, Select Thursdays. And yeah, they've, they've really got a, quite a little following now, but for this season, uh, it's going to be, you're going to do a little cookie exchange, uh, recipe exchange. So that'll be a lot of fun too. That's a neat idea. So people bring their favorite Christmas cookie recipe recipes and they're going to and they'll exchange yeah them. yeah they're very mm -hmm. favorite That's a great ones. idea it's actually quite popular I've done it a few times yeah, yeah cookie yeah. exchanges well real cookie exchanges yes we can't quite do that oh, okay but but we can exchange the recipes so That's so yeah let's talk about fun. yeah that to is get those fun. different ideas and those different recipes from different mm -hmm. people I love that yes absolutely love that. another thing that uh, uh, we've been doing all through the fall but uh, as well we're into our our second season now is our National Film Board Film Club we don't have any uh, full-length documentaries for uh, December but what we do have uh, the very shortest day of December is the 21st so in conjunction with the NFB we are offering the short shortest day film fest and they're all shorts so if you come into our children's space at Queen Square uh, which is open uh, it will be uh, all films f short films for young kids and then in our program room will be uh, short films for 7 to 97 so uh, some really really exciting uh, 
old ones, classic ones, and some newer ones. They're, they're just, shorts are just an exciting uh, uh, media to watch. That's a lot of fun. And maybe that's where you could wear your pajamas. Oh, yeah, absolutely. At Idea <laughs> Exchange, yes, when you, you come can. in to see we, the short film. We do yes. do some film fests where we have pajamas. Absolutely, we do. <laughs> oh, nice. We do. Yes, we do. Uh, and I was thinking that uh, one other little gift item people might be interested in thinking about. This is getting into next year, but uh, we have a gala in March the 5th, Saturday, March 5th, um, and it is in support of arts and culture in Cambridge for Idea Exchange. Um, but just because you have this gentleman on your show today, he will be the featured uh, music that evening, Tim Lewis. So uh, it's going to be Artie Gras Jazzed this year. Um, I and like uh, it. Tim will be on there as well as uh, we have Everett Smith. Um, uh, so you Top think you can dance for yeah. that and bring in Terry Benson amazing. back. He's going to be doing a special performance for us. Uh, all sorts of amazing things. Silent auction, live auction, signature drinks, exciting stuff. More, more that will be announced as we go on. But if you're thinking of giving a gift, a ticket to that might be exciting too. And that's coming up March 5th. March 5th. The annual Arty Gras yes. happening, yes. part of Idea Exchange and all of the other programs. And you can go online to Idea Exchange in the website and find out about everything that's happening. I do want to give you a pair of oh, pajamas and some slippers. And a for you. Nice. Yes. There you go. Thank you, you so much. It's Sharing such a wonderful oh, sleep. I want you to Thank you so much. Thank you. Great to have Thank you here. You. And we're back with more daytime in just a moment. Stay with us. when I was a kid, Megan. This is Megan Conyver from Sleep Tight Water in the Region. We were never allowed to have boys at our pajama parties, oh. though. But we've got one here today Thank for you. our daytime pajama party. <laughs> Thank you for the and invitation. And Lewis joining us with a little bit of music. Good to see you again. Good to be here. Thank you, guys. Well, I've got to get you caught up. And, and, and what's been happening with you? I know you had a, a bit of a busy fall. A busy fall, yes. You can call it that. <laughs> and people would have seen you running in, in the campaign. Yes, the, the, the last time I was on the studio, I was being grilled. And I had a minute to answer questions before a bell rang. So this is a little more relaxed. As yeah, is about pajamas. You're in pajamas, too. That helps. <laughs> That's right. So we won't ask too many tough questions today, <laughs> I Tim, can take but, it. but we do want to get caught up and then find out what's new with you and what you've been doing lately. Well, I've been relaxing, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, you usually get nervous before you go on a show, and I think this is the answer. This is, is the answer to not getting nervous. Absolutely. It's just fantastic. So, no, I've been busy back to music. This is a really, you know, all the holidays, music is a really big part of it. So Absolutely. So it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's very great that what I do gets to be so intricately involved in the, in the holiday season. Absolutely, and you are out playing. People can see you regularly at Proof Every, in uh, Kitchener. Uh, yeah, in the Delta Hotel and uh, in Proof on, on, on Tuesday evenings. Uh, there's a place called Netheridge Social Eatery. I play there on Thursday evenings, and, uh, and I'll be at the Jazz Room for a, a special post-New Year's show, New Year's Jazz Levy on January 3rd with a full band. A Jazz Levy. Oh, that oh yeah. Sounds great. yeah. And I when love the holidays are over, uh, there's nothing left to party, but we're going to start. We'll be the first ones to start up for the party <laughs> on January 3rd. So. Well, you put out a, a Christmas CD. How many years ago was it? Oh, it's got to be about four years, maybe, I think. Called Snowflakes mm -hmm. in Bloom. And I know on that CD, I, I love all the songs, but the one that touched me, and, and there is a video for it, 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 there's this very special story that has to do with your lovely daughter, Brooklyn. I did. I, I, wrote, I wrote most of the songs on the album. It's a holiday album, more of a winter theme. And, uh, and I wanted to write a lullaby for my children. And the legacy that I hope is that someday they'll sing it to their children. You know, that's, that's the idea. So uh, the best part about that video was I got to go through all home movies, all the home movies, and watch basically my children. It took me about two weeks. And I think I used maybe five seconds from the clips. But that was the best two weeks of my life. I got to watch my children just grow up. And who gets to sit there and watch home movies over and over again and pick these little moments? So, and that I don't made the video. a box of Kleenex <laughs> anymore. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> because they grow so fast, yes. and you see those moments, those very special moments mm -hmm. that you get to. And so, yeah, that just was, go that in the was blink of an eye. Yeah, and now, so we have a music video for that as well. So. 
That's awesome. So you wrote the song, you put it together. It's, well, it's and the idea fits with, with Sleep Tight, and it just makes sense if you're going to have, to, you know, we need a lullaby on the show. So I'm just happy to be here in my pajamas to sing a lullaby. <laughs> it, would be, it just makes sense. That's so wonderful. Who better to have sing us a lullaby <laughs> right? tonight? I'm so glad we, that we invited a boy to our pajamas. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was worth it. That's so it awesome. Off. And as Karen Murray Hoff was saying, you're going to be part, you're going to be the featured performer this year For Artie Gras. at Artie Gras mm -hmm. coming up in March. That's right. That's, Exciting. There's, there's a lot of good causes. There's a lot of things to be involved in. There's just always something to, to, to get involved in. That's well, the way I like to do it. And I know we all learned how passionate you are about this community. And, you know, wherever there's a cause, you're liable to be there helping uh, chances out. Chances are. Yep. Yeah. Last night I was at a, 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 there was a forum for uh, refugees, how to bring them in. And today we're helping out here. So it's just this, this, this community is fantastic for rallying. People like Megan are just fantastic. Oh, it you. is. <laughs> it is a fantastic Very community kind. full of lots of great people who are doing outstanding things, and it's nice to be able to celebrate some of them on Giving Tuesday. Well, this is kind of your way of giving back to our viewers today because you are going to perform for us. I would love to. And you're performing some, the name of your song. Tea. You're very uh, special. Oh, can you play and have tea at the same time? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you have your slippers and, on? And the name of the song this that you're going to It's called Sleep and Dream. This is Tim Lewis, Sleep and Dream, on Daytime. <laughs> Sleep and dream, and as you close your eyes, I'll be here forever by your side. Tomorrow's waiting to begin, it's closer than it seems. So my child, close your eyes, sleep and dream. Go to sleep, let the day's excitement fade. My reward is seeing your last smile of the day. One last hug, then off to dreamland on this winter's eve. So my baby, close your eyes, sleep and dream. As the nights get colder this December, my love will warm your winter nights. I hope as you get older, you'll remember our simple lullaby. Sleep and dream, you whisper to your child. Then you know the magic of a smile. Someday when I am not there with you, wherever I may be, I'll be dreaming of you. See you smiling back at me. You'll be singing. Close your eyes now. Sleep and dream. Well, welcome back to daytime. It is our, our first ever pajama party here. It is Giving Tuesday, so our pajama party is in support of Sleep Tight Waterloo Region. Founder Megan Coney Bear is here as my co-host today. Oh, so and it wouldn't be a pajama party without showing some of the best pajama fashions I'm for excited. this time of year. 
So Donna Schmidt-Kirk is joining us from Expressions by DSK. And it's funny, Donna, when we were talking mm -hmm. about having a, a pajama party, you said, oh, I know a store. Mm -hmm. I know a place that's got great pajamas. Well, actually, yes. And it's because I hosted a pajama party last week. And I ended up going to this store, and Lazy One in the Cambridge Center, and um, basically bought a pair of pajamas for every member of my family and uh, hosted a party in celebration of our grandson. So it was pretty Aww. fun. <laughs> How much fun is that? Now, did everybody have matching jammies, or they were different? or Well, they were all bears and mooses, and yes, the theme was all matching. And um, yeah, it was chocolate moussage and chocolate mousse and, you know, fun things like that, and that right down so to the neat. baby. <laughs> so it was really fun, and that's the neat thing about this particular store is because they have pajamas for everyone, guys and girls, um, from adults to babies, and uh, unisex fashion, and it's just so much fun. You walk in, and you kind of look at all the labels and the logos, and you go, okay, that works well for this boy. This one <laughs> works well for this son. <laughs> So, yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. So we decided to bring it in today in honor of you, Megan. Oh, thank Perfect. you so much. And you know what? I think it's a great idea because I don't know about your family, but in ours, it's often tradition to get a new pair of pajamas yes. at Christmas yeah. time. I've heard a lot about that. So. Mm -hmm. Seems to be a All popular right, yeah. thing to do. Well, some ideas from Lazy One in, in Cambridge Mall today. And great. let's see some of the pajamas that they suggest for the holidays. <laughs> they do. Oh, it's look at fun, this. fun, fun. Great, great fun <laughs> fashion. Oh, I love the colors. <laughs> The ones our Christmas back. dual team. Here they are. And, uh, you know, like we say, they're unisex pajamas. And the onesies are the super big thing that's happening today. Um, guys and gals alike absolutely adore them. They're just too much fun. And they have a great selection, whether you do T-shirts or boxers or whatever you would like to do. There's also fitted pajamas. There are looser pajamas. There's yoga pants. Um, there's all kinds of things. And needless to say, to support your cause, they're on for 50% off a lot of them. Wonderful. So okay. anybody Shopping watching, tip, if yeah. you want to buy a pair of pajamas and donate it to Megan, like now is the time Lazy One in the Cambridge Center has great That's deals. a great idea. It's fun, fun. So I it's cool. love the patterns. Isn't that cute? I so the little flapjacks are really the big <laughs> popular, so popular look right now. And uh, we'll get you guys to switch a little bit here so you can see that guys and gals oh, there alike. We go. There's uh, ah, no choosing fair. who's going to wear them. They're both what wearing does it them. Say on the, on bear the cheeks. Bear, bear cheeks. cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> How cute is that? I have it's to also fun. ask about the, the bear slippers. I don't know if we can see them or not. Are, oh, are sure. Do you want to wiggle your toes too? out here, Magnus, a little bit? Let's have a look. Yes, they, they dress everything <laughs> from head to toe. So, like I said, they have boxers, they have slippers, <laughs> um, they have all kinds of matching so accessories to put with it, and uh, just a variety of fun things even little that tote bags so um, they've got backpacks and all kinds of cute things for babies just lots of fun things mm -hmm. fabulous i love them absolutely love them they're the moose slippers fun. too that you were talking about before so. yes and they're all fuzzy and lined and very very warm <laughs> all right so oh thank you that is so team. great <laughs> so I, just, I love the color and the mm -hmm. fun it, it's it's fun you know generally nobody sees your jammies well yeah. except for all of well, you well today <laughs> yes everybody sees them today but no well, except home, for me because i'm so out of the loop <laughs> <laughs> okay. oh well next time megan i'll be more on tune <laughs> all, right. all right well let's see some oh, more jammies from kids. lazy one and the cambridge Mall. Oh, oh so look adorable. at this. They I'm going to get you to step forward just a little bit so we can see you. Oh, look at you. sister ideas. Look at all of that. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> Yeah, Braxton's cute as a button, and uh, she's got a great look. So why not give a gift of pajamas this year to a family member? And they're fun. They're dressing them again from head to toe. Nicole showing the two-piece pajamas, which are very popular for the teens, might I add, even at high school. Um, but they do seem to wear sure. them all the time. It's the world's most move comfortable over here just fashion. A little bit. It's what we and all talk about. Awesome. Look cute at that. Cute little pockets. You can put your cell phone that in is here. Perfect. So ideal for any yes. teen, right? Yes. You know, I, I said at the beginning of the show that... It, <laughs> Pajama day is kind of like Saturday at the share house and whenever we've got one of those days it is we literally sit around and there's always one day during the holidays that we officially dub pajama day at that our sense. house where nobody gets out of their jammies that you just <laughs> relax because it's so comfortable it is it's great fun and yeah. it is fun to host a pajama party everybody should try it once and just you know have a little bit of fun with it because everybody wears them so uh, but they have lots of great styles and very very comfy sleepwear some of the pajamas, the onesies, you know, just all have the feet right in them as well. So there's lots of those choices too. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. the slippers. I like your slippers, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> Can we wiggle your toes a little bit? I think they're going to pan down so that we can there see your toes go. a little She's bit. Cute little raccoons today. 
Aren't they cute? There we go. Now we can see your raccoons. <laughs> so cute. Fun fashion. Mm -hmm. I love them. And I know that Lazy One is also in the spirit of giving this holiday season they too. They are. And having said that, they have chosen to donate to your cause as well. I'll oh, let you show them. Thank and, you. And um, there's a cute little pair of onesies there for some special person in your world. Oh, aren't they cute? Oh, oh I the love back. the bottom. <laughs> As tail the end of the segment, end. it's the tail end. It is so. <laughs> the tail end of our fashion segment here with Donna Schmidt Kirk. And Lazy One Thank is you. located in the Cambridge, in Cambridge Mall. Mm -hmm. In Cambridge Center Mall. And, and yes. where can they find them? Like, which, I'm um, trying to think when of my directions. When you come in and just go past the bay, there are about three stores down from okay. there. But they have 29 stores right across Canada and would be able to help you very much. So with That'd your be wonderful. Thank Perfect. you so Perfect. much. Perfect. I Thank love you. that. And I love your fashions too. Your jammies. Perfect. I love your jammies. I need some moose jammies now, I think. <laughs> okay, and we're back with more on daytime at our, our pajama party today in support of Sleep Tight Waterloo Region when we come back, so stay with us. Okay, Megan and I have already started yeah. into all the sweet treats that are here already. And speaking of sweet treats, Jen Scott from Sweet Treats by Jen joining us today. And we thought, you know, we should have some snacks. If you're having a pajama party, you have to have some, you have snacks. To have some snacks for it. So it is, we're making some special things today. We are. And I know it's supposed to be a lazy day because we're in our jammies, but I'm going to put you two to work. Oh, really? <laughs> awesome. But you can put this to work with this? Yes. Okay, then it's not okay. work. It's not so much work <laughs> no. then. Okay. So you each have your own little bucket. Okay. Um, right. And your own little scoop. So oh. I'm going to get you guys to start by putting some popcorn in each of your buckets. Oh. Okay. Which is kind of like the, the international pajama party snack. It think. is. It's popcorn. Because most pajama parties you're watching movies, right? Yep. So popcorn's kind of the staple for that. Okay. These are cute little boxes. They by are. The way. I got those at the bulk barn. I was just walking through and I saw oh. them like that oh, would be okay. perfect for a pajama party. All right. Okay, so we've got some popcorn so in here now. Once you get your popcorn, then you're gonna take um, some of the red chocolate and you're just gonna drizzle it over the popcorn. We're putting chocolate on we the We are. We're, we're kicking popcorn up a notch oh. today. <laughs> Oh, okay. I like this already. So it's just drizzling? Yeah, drizzling over your popcorn. Okay. Oh, wow. And you, with this, it's great because everybody can create their own popcorn the way they like it. Oh, I can love that idea. That's yeah. kind of like designer popcorn. It is. And then you can use your scoops if you want to sort of stir it around, or you can use the spoon, whatever your preference is. Hmm. Okay. Let me... And then, a little bit. the next step would be to add whatever candy is your choice. But you guys are already into the candy, so you might have yeah. mashed candy oh, yeah. to put in the We ate a little bit already. <laughs> we get Depleted. to add this in? We get to add the candy, whatever okay. candies you like. So I've got like the Whoppers there, there's gummy bears, jujubes. Oh, um, these Whopper are like the jelly bellies. Okay, so the Whoppers go in. Like, I don't know about everybody else, but I love salted popcorn with chocolate. Oh, it's yeah. Too. yeah. I like it. And I, I've seen kind of the gourmet packages of yeah. popcorn that you can get that have a little bit of chocolate on it. Yeah. I'm and if you're looking for something I know, really I cool, them. Amazon sells cookie butter. And I've seen people tossing popcorn in cookie butter lately. Cookie butter? Yeah. You can only get it on Amazon, but you go onto Amazon, you order cookie butter, and you can toss your popcorn in it. Wow. Cookie butter. Yeah. So it's like a flavored It's like a flavored um, covering. Yeah. And I am sure there are absolutely no calories in it either, no. is there, Jen? No, of course not. Nothing. No okay. There's no oh, calories on the I like this already. Oh. Okay. So, to tell everybody's popcorn apart, you probably eat it before you get to this point, but I've got these <laughs> yeah. cute chocolate labels, and you can actually write your names on them and then stick them on the front of Wait the box. Wait a minute, those are labels? They're labels. So then How cute this is, is going to be Susan's popcorn. Look at that. There we go. And is it M-E-G-H-A-N? M-E-A-G-H-A-N. -E you might not be able to fit it in. <laughs> I can fit it. <laughs> That's what I love about these because you can customize yeah, it and it doesn't matter it. what your and name you know is. It's you your get the popcorn. proper spelling. Oops. And when you're walking Thank around you. the pajama party and you Ooh. set it down, then you know which box is yours. Yeah, for sure. And then no good movie pajama day is like complete without your hot chocolate. 
Right, Ooh. eat hot chocolate. Like, so we were talking about hot chocolate with one of our guests before and saying, I could use a cup of hot cocoa. Yeah, yeah. and I brought some along for you. Okay. <laughs> so I've got these really cool mason jar mugs, and I was just telling you, we're using these as our guest favors for our weddings, and they're going to get the chalkboard labels too, so they can write their name on for the evening. Um, but they're really cool idea. for home too. Um, so I'm just going to rim your glass first. I'm just dipping it in a little bit of water, and then okay. I've got crushed candy cane here. <gasps> Oh, oh, that's wow. genius. I love that. So it like adds a little flair to your hot chocolate. Okay. So then I've brought some homemade hot chocolate here. Is this Jen's secret recipe? Ooh. It is. There's three types of chocolate in it, and there's a little bit of coffee. So Really? Oh, yeah, a little kick. So what types of chocolate do you use? I know it's a secret recipe. <laughs> <laughs> um, I use a dark cocoa, um, okay. and then I also use um, actual chocolate. So I get a dark chocolate and I get a milk chocolate that you actually melt down into the pot. Now, if you're at home, you, we could add some Baileys in here, too. <laughs> but well, no this, maybe a little. <laughs> we, we all have maybe to drive. It's like, okay. And then, for me, I like the big marshmallows, because I would like to get more marshmallow, more bang for my buck. So oh, then, and then I've got these cute that. little shawls. That is, that is so adorable. adorable. And it's warm. It's, it's still lovely. Warm. Just I in. like that idea. And you're right, you know, if you're having a party, yeah. this could be the guest favor. You just exactly. send them home with the little mason jars. And you can get the mason jars with it. the lids too, right? So they can take it home with them. It's like kind of like a coffee cup to go. You can get them with the straws and the lids. What a great idea. And you know what we think about at adult parties during the ho holiday time, mm -hmm. but a lot of the parties we used to do, our friends would bring their kids over. Exactly. This is a lot of fun right. for and the it, kids to do at the same time. Yeah, for some reason you don't like hot chocolate, you could do the same thing with apple cider and you use cinnamon sugar to rim the glass. Oh, oh that's so yeah. creative. Yeah, that is Never so that. neat. And then you get your drinks and you get your popcorn and well, you have some candy left over, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's really a win-win win. -win. <laughs> Everybody wins. And all of this is like under $25 to do for about six people. So, oh, yeah. wow. Very affordable. Mm -hmm. Very, very affordable. And I know that it, in the spirit of giving, you yeah. got into the swing of things. You wore your jammies. I wore my jammies. I wore my good jammies, the oh. ones I can wear on TV. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and I also brought a pair of pajamas for oh, you. Oh, thank you so oh, much. No problem. Very nice. Oh, look at that. Yeah. So, so. It's just such a nice thing. I love pajama parties. I remember mm. having them as a, a kid. I don't know why we don't do them more as adults. I know. And just have you know, we are tomorrow like a night. girls' night. Well, <laughs> tomorrow night, exactly, at yeah. the Hacienda. Yeah will be the party that everybody can, can and come we're join gonna us have at. Hot cocoa Th there awesome. too, so <laughs> you'll have to bring your like your mug with mm. you. Yes, <laughs> that's really good with the dark chocolate yes. in it. It really gives it a, a chocolate you get a little bit of a kick. kick. Yeah, it's really nice. A bit of a taste. And you yeah, get extra marshmallow, that. right? You're not stuck with the little mini marshmallows. You're the mom that has the party that all the kids <laughs> want to go to because you've got so many great ideas. We 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 try. Like there's Pinterest is like sort of my Bible that I go to for ideas, <laughs> yeah. and then I sort of adapt from there, but yeah. And put your own creative spin on it. <laughs> You're great, and you can go to the website for even more creative ideas <laughs> with them. Thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. Thank okay, you so much. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> more daytime still to come. Stay with us. I like to sink the marshmallows a little yeah. bit so that they melt into the hot chocolate at the same so time you're drinking them. I love this. Well, I want to say a very special thank you to you, Megan, for being Aww. my co-host today. Thank you. It's part of our show. I love the idea of having the pajama party. But and it is all in support of Sleep Tight Waterloo Region and you're collecting pajamas for, for people in need mm -hmm. throughout the year, not just at the holiday season, but exactly. all year long. Yeah, thank you so much for having me. And yeah, this has been great. Well, if people want to make that donation and donate to the cause, how can they pick up those jammies and get them to so you? So once you have a pair of pajamas that you want to donate, you can drop them off at any Waterloo Regional Police uh, Service Division uh, within the region, and you can do that until January 2nd. And you're looking for children, women's, women's men's, any men's, pajamas? children's, yes, definitely. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a need there. Well, I'm looking forward to, to the pajama party that you're hosting tomorrow night at the Hacienda. Yes, I'm looking forward to being exciting. part of that. And I don't know, do they have, are they going to have the drizzle popcorn You know what? We are. We're going to have popcorn. We're going to have hot chocolate. It's going to be good. 
Okay, well, I'm looking forward to it, and I'm so happy that you could join us on Giving Tuesday. And to all of you out there, it is Giving Tuesday, and look for your own way to give back to your community in, in a special way. There's lots of people out there who could use your help, and there's lots of ways that you can do it. And it doesn't always take money. It takes an investment of time and your talents, and you can give back mm -hmm. to Waterloo Region in a great way. So thank you so Cheers. much for joining thank us. Thank you so much. And we'll thank see you, you tomorrow, everybody. Have a great day.